2K Sports. We've got the excitement of the NBA for you tonight. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. He has a huge vote total right now. Number three, in fact, among Western Conference players. And looking more and more like he'll be a starter. And that's really a tribute to the work he's put in this season. He's earned each and every one of those votes. And we'll keep you posted as the voting continues. Now the starting group for the visitors. Curry is out there with Booker. Then there's Davis. Then it's Durant. And it's LeBron in at the power forward. They've got Napier. Jose Alvarado is out there with Isaac. And it's Waters in at the point guard position. And the latter half of the season, uh, Greg, in your experience, did the games get easier or harder than it was earlier on? Overall, I'd say it's harder later on. Physically, you're more banged up. And mentally, man, it's a long season, and that can wear on you as well. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. <laughs> Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board and put back. Waters passes to Alvarado. That one off the back iron and out. Booker looking around. Here's James. The shot will not fall. Here's Napier. Not three off the mark. Gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. The selfless attitude of James. When someone on his team has a clean look, look, he feeds him. First quarter of play, one minute played. Here's Napier taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Count that one from Isaac. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. So it's the visitors now. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. In their eyes, that's just taking care of business. They believe they're supposed to beat this team, but they'll have to see how the season series shakes out. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Here's Napier. He's now one for two with that bucket. Here's Booker. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Muscling his way through the contact. Love the edge that Booker plays with. over the floor good on the triple and that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple being 47 percent from the field to start things off crosses over Clavel grabs the rebound he made that way more difficult than it had to be with that leaning jumper as a result he comes away empty red shot is right there I love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. Curry finds Tatum. They grab their own miss, and that one is good. Davis has got six points. Davis has gone three for four from the floor tonight. And here's Berea, right now averaging about five points a game. The kick out to Red. Shoots a three. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. Tatum on the wing. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. What is he doing? You got to get out to Tatum. He is too good of an outside shooter to be given that much airspace. What? And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. 
up by four. And we'll be back right after this. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. They're just out hustling them on the boards, punishing them for refusing to box them out accordingly. They've got J.J. Barea, and it's red in at the four-man position. To the paint. Up and in on the way. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. James is out there with Embiid. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Edwards. And it's White in at the point. Look, LeBron James is just dominant in every aspect of the game. Look, he just bodies people and able to get a second look. And that one falls for White. We know referees have some of the toughest jobs around, but Richard, any steps you see for the league to improve its officiating? No, I think the officials actually do a very good job given how difficult their jobs are. Officials 20 years ago didn't have the internet where people were putting all this stuff out, though. So I think the referees are as good percentage-wise as they've ever been. Launches it. Sinks the three-pointer. Isaac's got six here in this quarter. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Achilles injuries used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. And now Wilkins says... KD has really taken hold of this and become the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. That's up, that's up, that's up. Both good from the line that time. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. At 50% in a decent group. James in the post. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Booker's got four assists in the game. Now look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. Here's Waters, guarded by Kerr. Driving the lane, lays it up off the glass. Waters got six. And how about the burst in that first step? Just right to the rim. There's 48 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Curry with the three. No good on that one. In 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Waters. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. It's a close game here in Toronto. Davis setting the pick for Durant. The three-pointer, no good. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. Davis kicks to Booker. Shoots over Isaac. Booker, no good. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. From deep three-point land, and no good on the last second attempt this time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Up by three. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David, after this.
got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been a clinic out there by James. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. They've got Jonathan Isaac. Napier is out there with Jose Alvarado. And it's Waters in at the point guard. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Being pretty good tonight at 48%. Durant the pass to Davis. Back to KD. Davis setting the pick for Durant. Connects on the 17-footer. Durant's got nine points. And sometimes you just assume ahead of time Durant's mid-range J is going in. Downright lethal. Waters passes to Napier. And the pass to Waters. Shoots over Curry. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Ten points for him. That's a shot he shouldn't be afraid to take more often. Here's James. He's got 17. Oh, LeBron's just too strong inside. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. When he's on his way to the basket, but on that one, they were there. Curry, nice jump shot, good. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. And it's Davis with the jam. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 16 rebounds. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Right side, White. On the wing, Booker over Berea. And there's Booker on the assist by White. 12 points for Devin Booker. This is Booker at his most dangerous. No hesitation right there. 127 left to play here in the third. Out to the right wing. Right against Davis. And Davis sends it back. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. White dishes to Davis. Plays it up and banks it in. Davis has got six here in this quarter. But he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. LeBron with a screen on Berea. Booker the pass to James. And the dunk by James. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Up 19. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. <laughs> Let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Being 49% on the game. They'll take that. They've got Jason Tatum. Anthony Edwards out there with Derek White. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Davis in at the center filling out the middle. And the shot goes down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And I remember Blake Griffin signing a five-year contract with the Clippers. And the next thing you know, he was traded. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 
on offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Pass to Red, tries a three. Second chance shot, he takes it up and lays it in. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there, no box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. The three from Tatum drills the three-pointer. And that's probably his most dangerous weapon. Tatum just has a smooth jumper. Here's Leonard. He's defended by Alvarado. Embiid sets the pick for Leonard for three, Edwards. That's good. Basket number five on a five-for-eight night shooting. And this is big for Edwards' confidence, wanting to keep hitting from downtown and stretching that defense. Just 34% from the floor. Guarded by Tatum. Here's Isaac. And Isaac throws it down. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. Pass to Tatum from deep three-point land. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Tatum's got nine points now in just the second half. To the left side wing. The pass to Alvarado. Shoots over Leonard. It's good from about 19 feet. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Edwards with the screen for Halliburton. And that time, also a missed shot. 17 seconds left in the game. Now, here's Napier. He's tightly guarded. No good on the triple. Now, here's Tatum. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Anthony. Great team win. How important are those contributions throughout the roster? We got a great team. And you know, guys that play for each other. We play selfless. Um, all we care about is winning. And, you know, these guys are doing the little things, and therefore, you know, any chance we get where we're able to find these guys and make plays, um, we want to give it to them. You know, we want to reward them and thank them for doing all the little things. That's how you win championships. Yeah, it was 1 through 15 tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.